I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. <gasps> My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> Thank you. My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. That will be all. Thank you for your time. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my cart. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Hello.
Grace, what is it you needed my help with? I was hoping you could dive down and retrieve a treasured family astrolabe lost during a doomed stargazing cruise. Where even one and nowhere? <laughs> Oops. Look how far up is this thing? Wizard in time. Yes. There's something down. I gotta find this thing. I don't know where they even look. Like how far out am I supposed to go? Seems like a lot of work. Doesn't even have the purple thingy on there or anything. So I can see. Sunk they had a furlong northeast of the dock. Okay. The northeast. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh, over there. Seriously. <laughs> um... Can I just get rid of something quickly? No, I don't want to wear them. That's not what I'm after. <gasps> oh, for crap's sake.
Ooh. Oh my god. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, got it, finally. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Oh, over there. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Interesting. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Oh, stuck. <laughs> Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? No, I did not. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. Okay. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. A mermaid mask. Hmm. Well, it didn't look fair on my screen, but. What is this? Oh. Mm. I mean, I don't know if I should be going out here, but you know. Cows. 
Ooh, what is this? What in the heck? Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Rebellion. I can't see. She's just zapped it. I didn't think of that on that, to be honest. Did I just make it back to the start? No, maybe not. Though I do feel like I'm going around in circles. It just happened. I'm confused. For some reason I can no longer see it. Um. Um. Whoops. Can we just like go here? like a place right out of a storybook. I know what that means. Merlin trial. What is this? Incendio. No. What do I have to do with this one? Oh, there's balls. There's balls. Ooh. Huh. Ah, Okay. Balls. Come on. These are white balls. Now what? There's only two, right? Oh no, there's more over here. Yeah. 
these Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Okay. Figure that one out. That baby. Oh, there's another one right there. Oops, let me mark that. Oops. I should investigate. Investigate what? Revelio. That's probably not a good idea. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Where do you have to go? Huh. I don't see a thingy for this. Mm, let me go huh. down and look. Oh, maybe in there? I guess so. Okay, Bolo. Heal me. Can you go? No, you need me to... Come on, Bolo. Seriously. Come on, Bolo! Moved it. Come on. Um, where did it go? Right. 
What is this? Incendio. Okay. Lumos, this looks intriguing. What's my geese that's a cool again? I need to go to Hogsmeade and sell some stuff. I'm just going to get rid of them for now. Oh. I don't know. There's supposed to be one more Merlin trial somewhere. Because I've done three now. There's four of them. Oh, there it is. Over there. If I fast travel here. When have far to go? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. What is this? There's a ton of them. Um, please. It's so tricky after all, Merlin. Okay, so I need to go back to Hogsmeade. Sweet, here I come. Mm -hmm. 
Let's move these lights are still full. Um, Find myself scurrying home at night these days. Um. Oh, you can stop a beep in their tracks and stupefy. I honestly don't know You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate Boy, these socks. Novelty socks at that price socks, can't be So if your feet are smelly, you'll have to I'd work it out for yourself. And be dancing like this. You're not dancing. You're exercising. Father, why is he dancing? See? And you said the charms come out in the wash, but it hasn't. Someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. Has he been cursed? If I haven't oh, said it before, it's a please. pleasure doing oh, business with you. To Mr. Hill and get me some when normal you pay one. for your own socks, then you get to choose. Until then, you'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Papa, can we really wash charms out of things? Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending her canals. <laughs> I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure. Blah, blah, Whatever you're about. Hmm. 
Okay. Rebellion. Oh, there's something in there that I missed. Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Yeah. Oh, down here. <laughs> Hello there. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky feet. Oh, look, more kitties in here. Oh. Can I pet the other one? I can. Okay. Oh. I finished petting all the kitties. Avelio. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just waffling through your crap. Hmm. Down there. Can I get down there? No, I cannot. How do I get in there? Hell. Damn it, it's seen me. Cheating. Oh, got a minute. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yes, yes. Inside, yeah, it's inside. It's inside. Lumos. Okay.
it here somewhere? Oh, it's in there. Lumos. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Level fifteen. It's probably not a good idea to be jumping down on things like that, but you know, we're just gonna do it anyway. Oh god, don't fall down there. Oh, I hear a page. Where? Oh, over there. Okay. I thought I'd seen it. Oh, oh. and loops. House elves are wizard kind's best friend. Always have been. Oh, it's not a thing you want. Snowy owl star. Hogsmeade, here I come. Imagine how I'd have felt as a boy if my headmaster had cancelled Quidditch. <coughs> yes, Minnie. Leave the pussycat alone. Oh, oh it's birdies. Yeah, that's not scary. Don't push. Uh huh. I read. <laughs> hey. 
There's a door. Oh. We know how many goops. Revelio. Eat stuff as you're walking around. Never mind me, dude. Ooh. Revelio. Exploding bonbons. Okay, well, we should go back. <sighs> Whoops, stop eating things. Okay, let's go back to Hogwarts. Let's find somewhere where we can go. He will do. said that travel broadens the mind. <coughs> oh. Pavelio. Hold oh, on. Revelio. Elsa. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. And most pleased to be included. Oh, Anything else in here? Revelio. No. Guess not. Okay. It's so much to explore. Okay, what missions do we have? But our quests, not missions, but quests. Investigate the Allery. <sighs> Professor Hecate wants me to practice avoiding attacks by dodging rolling. She also wants me to cast incendio on a few enemies. 
My field guide will not guide me through this assignment. But my map could still be useful. Okay. We should do this one. I'm too fast for this dance. <laughs> Nothing on that side. Oh, yes, yeah, this one. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. be how I get down. Looks broken though. That seems to have done the trick. Castle will never cease to surprise me. Oh, oops. <sighs> you screwed webs. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Levioso. Oh. I'm going to have to get past this. Oh. Oops. God. Lumos. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Repairer. Let me answer. Oh, man.
Incendio! One more to go and I'll make it across. Too. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Yes, the platform is getting in the way of that platform. Yeah. Man. Please don't do that. Hmm. No. Levioso. Lumos. God damn this. Whoops. Um. Here. Um... Perhaps I shouldn't have jumped. Perhaps I should jump back now. Well, that wasn't what I wanted, but okay. Oh. How do I get back up? The trick? God damn it. Auckland juice. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. This must be the way out. Hmm. I need to find a way to open that gate. Oh, for God's sake. Incendio! Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Every time I think that I didn't need a spell, I had to put it back on. <laughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. 
Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Do I have to go back that way or can I just have to travel back? I can fast travel back. Hello, little elf. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented food. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywig stings. You got them! Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Fizzing whiz beer. Okay, you do that. Okay. We did that one. We should go and do the alloy one. Well, that's the other thing I should be looking at the gear. Hmm. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. It must be a wheezy. Yes. I craft you. <laughs> oh, I can't wear that one. I mean, I'm okay with not having a hat. Yes, I'm much better than I was yesterday. Had that dang stinking bug come back again. It was not pretty. I could not keep anything down. It was quite horrible, to be honest. Master bugs, exactly. Oh, 
Hold on. One. That goes two. Triangle. Which triangle? This triangle. Incendio. That's one. Circle is two. This is three. And this is four. So now what? Don't show me anything? Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey. Is it? I was. I was a good help. I even went into the mines with her. you sending me? You're telling me to go one way, then you're telling me to go another. Screw you, I'm going this way. Huh. No, I did not. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. Oh, I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Why? Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Sure. I'm in. Let's do it. I'm not Brilliant. very good, but I'll do it. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Oh, God. Oops. Akio. All in the wrist. Lord. Akio. Oh, please. Try to beat that. Akio. Eh, lucky shot. Wait, did I win? I won. And <laughs> What a douche waddle. 
<laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Not now. Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill. Yes, yes, whatever. He's not humble by any means. Off on another adventure, are we? I was quite helpful. I even took her some goodies. It's a long way up. You're getting better with the fishing. We just need to have more patience. Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Ooh, little laggy there. Oh, well, me well. Owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now. Where are those statues? I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. No statues here? Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. This will do nicely. Mm, nothing. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Hmm. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. No statues here. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Mm, nothing. No statues here. Here's a welcome surprise. Accio. Oh, this will do nicely. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Mm, nothing. 
nervioso. Acción. No statues here. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. What's happening? Uh oh. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. <laughs> Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. <laughs> Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. A light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Gross. <laughs> I know, right? It's just like, yeah, whatever. No biggie. You know, it was bound to happen. Whatever.
Oh wait, is the next big look? Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is. Okay. Need to learn Expelliarmus first, which is part of this one. So maybe if I go and do this one. Okay. Oh, there's a thingy over there. Oh, I've already looked it up. Never mind. Get out of the way, you sheep. I know, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Running, 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 I'm running over here. Run, 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 run. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Oh, that reminds me. I need to change that one back out for that one. Ooh. Monies! Oh, something here. Revelio. Is that another thingy? Go back. Jesus, another wizard dirt melon trial. Could it be a Merlin trial? Oh, this could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. This third one. Uh oh.
There's another one over this side. Uh, hi, Abby. I'm okay. I'm much better today. Thank you. Where the heck is this thing? Yes, had me my stinking bug again. I think the game's really fun so far. Although this wizard trial is keeping me off. I should investigate. Is it? These dogs are going to attack me. But the plan yesterday was I was supposed to be going and helping her, and well, that didn't happen because I felt ill. So I went and helped today. <laughs> Took us some stuff, helped to build some stuff. <laughs> I don't know where this thing is. Oh my life, it's over where they are. Oh, there it is, I see it. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, done that one. Keep going. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Ooh. Running, 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 I'm running over here. Run, 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 run. An encampment. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to it. I will regret not joining us. He doesn't come round now. He'll be made even more of an example. Hmm. Keep two enemies airborne for five seconds. It sounds like fun. Let me answer. Damn it, I missed. What was that? Let me answer. Oh, oh dear, yeah. oh. <laughs> Incendio. Let me answer. Okay, never mind, he did. Dead. 
easily diverted. <laughs> Much too slow. <laughs> Predictable. You won't get away with that. Was that your best? Eh? You are a Something. Now, to Freon's carts. What do you have in store for me this time? Ah, oh, man. Take that one. Um. Oh, I need bowls again. Enchantment. The carts are returning to on. Where's your balls?
Hmm. Where's the bowls? Oh, you there. Oh no, that's this one. these other balls yeah yeah my geese lots of cool I know we're <laughs> way up there Try and figure out where they are. Let me open. Incendio. <laughs> I didn't want. Let me open. Oh, use the thingy to get up. I haven't. Oh, stop. No. You be watching. She being a lurking. No. Okay, I can side. I want the inside. Excuse me, box. I guess. Who oh, not helping me find these balls? Need to use Revelio more? Revelio. <sighs> what is in there? Hmm. Nope, can't take that. 
Okay, there's a chest up there, blah, blah, blah. Revelio. Mm No, oh, the balls are down there. Incendio. Accio. Come on, little balls. Merlin himself would be proud. No, no hot tub strings here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Nope. Yep. Use my foot, please. I should, shouldn't I? Hmm. Wonder who lives here. Mm, where is he? He's over there. Over there. Running, 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 I'm running over here. Run, 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 run. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. <laughs> exactly. I've been dealing with... Witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Welcome. Got a few visual witches all the today. Best to you. Once my cards arrive. To show you my work. Look, are real animals in the game. I think they're mainly just fantasy creatures. I think. I, I now don't know for sure. Oh, that one's inside. Oh, yeah.
Um, oh yeah, my case looks cool. She looks at cats. <laughs> Me too. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? And what do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Mm -hmm. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. Okay. Use a map with the floating candles to find the treasure. I could do that one, I guess. I'm still doing this one. I've got 7 of 16. <laughs> Let's go try this one again. I'm not very good at it, but I will try. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got this side, right? You only buy if you don't gather hides or wool to make, to make fabric. No, no, no sheep. You find most of it stuff. You can buy it, I think, too, but you find most of it. There's lots of chests and stuff you find stuff in. Well, nobody's here. Hmm. No. No cooking. Maybe we can do this while we're waiting then. Oh, I need to inventory. Yeah. That quest at some time. Yeah. Where the heck is this supposed to be? One I keep shirking? Which one? Press a Hellcat? Is that the one you're talking about? It says during the day, that's the only reason why I hadn't done it yet. I was trying to do this one, but I don't know. Okay, we'll do this one then. Don't fall! Ah, Hiya! <laughs> yeah, somewhat, I think.
Let me in. Through the door. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Mm, that sucks. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Oh, shoot. Good work. The dummy is here. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. <laughs> I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were... uh... students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds horrible. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. Nope. You have. <laughs> Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Yeah. Well, that wasn't what I meant to do, but anyway. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. It's very hard. It may save your life one day. Still at it, I see. Above me or below me? 
Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Smell the armpit. <laughs> uh. Smell the armpit. Nothing up here. Wow, oh, nearly had this thick. I hate to see a creature get put down. Where is this key? Go this way. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Hmm, you would think, right? Headless, how can you be nearly I'm headless? Joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. A hundred and forty tis dead. Okay, there you are, the cross one's duelist to beat. Oh, yes, I know I am. I'm too good for you, dude. I have no idea where this one is. Don't give me. Anyway. Oh. oh, I haven't been collecting my challenges stuff either. Uh Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's funny. Oh, crap. Let's go and look at the quests. Meet Richard Jackler in the Forbidden Forest. Maybe I can find this one now. Oh, then again, maybe not. Now we'll just go with this one. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh boy.
Here I am, as good as my word. Yes, because this is a perfect time to come here. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, oh. I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? I never would have guessed. Oh, come on. Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Thanks. Is that Latin? Or Greek? No, oh, God. Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Uh -oh. Are you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Attack! Lucky, that's all! Button. Those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. Whoops. <laughs> I kept pushing the wrong button. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder mm -hmm. if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendio! Oh, 
my god! Not going to touch those. Find jeweling gloves. Yeah, can I get out of this spider pit? Ooh. Yeah, let's keep going. Well, I guess that's his body. No, maybe not. Which way do I have to go? Oh, I had to get down that way. Okay. Well, that was a body. Oh my god. Another puzzle. Well, if Jack Daw could solve this, so can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Tricky, tricky. Mushroom thing. Oh, nothing that way. Yeah, most booters. Come from this way. No. An untouched chest. Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Hmm. 
Okay, very spooky then. Hmm. Oh crap. Uh, Go. Oh! Where did you come from? Oh, my mouth is all tangled up. All right, it sounds wrong. Can spirit caves. Is that it? I don't know, is it just you? Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Oh no. I'm getting out of there real quick. <laughs> I feel the same. And what? Guessing I have to go this way. Here. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> <Less than> granted. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. This bit's fun. Oh, there was a bit back there. Wait, go back for a second. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Dor would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. <sighs> Let's see what I've got in here that I can just get rid of. Hmm. I'm just going to get rid of these ones for now. Can't exactly sell anything out here. You can hear me. There's another one over there. Oh, that's where I was. Ha. Yeah, very much so. I agree. Ha. Okay, so where else can I go? Okay, I came from that way. Need Marty's bag? Ha. Yes, that would be great. They're very, very handy. 
Not open that one. Okay, so I must have to go this way. Oh. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. Oh, These for can't be what the head sake. of I couldn't push the button quick enough. How these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came um. in. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I just threw a cabbage. Where's the next one? I'll need to look around for the symbol. I hit that one and I hit that one. The spider's telling you to No, exactly. Hmm. Where's this third one? Oh, it's down there. <laughs> An untouched chest. Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Ooh. There was something or someone at the end of this. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Yep. There'd be. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Probably. Oh crap. Oh, I couldn't push my buttons quick enough. Take 
Oh my god, they did it again. Where's the papers? <laughs> I know, Ren. Oh man. I couldn't get out of the way quick enough. Oh. 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 That was funny. <laughs> what? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Ahem. <clears throat> We're just running like it's Where nothing. Where am I? Oh no. The room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? It's the wet kind of magic. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Okay. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. Ooh, that's cute. 
The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Ooh. Okay. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Okay. Unlock talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. Oh. Twelve new points available. Purchase talents and talent points we gain to unlock abilities. Oh. Mm. oh, that's kind of fun too. You might take one of each of those. Dealing damage to a curse targeting with its damage to all cursed targets. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. Expelliarmus has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Hmm. Well. Okay, we'll take one of those. The Odorous Potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, no, it says that you gain them every time you go up, so. New spell set is added. That sounds kind of good. I think I like the sound of this one. New spell set pattern. Wigan World heals you to greater effect. Godzilla. I think I like that one too. Pego blocks will contribute to an ancient magic meter. That one sounds good too. Hmm. I like the sound of that one. No, no, it's still fun. I'm liking the spells in the core cool one more than any, I think. This is a range of Revelio. It's kind of cool too.
Okay. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Who knows? You said you did. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Um, okay. We must back up there. This one here. Okay. I like that. Aha, thank you all. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be Ooh. back. I did promise him not neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Oh my god, stop it. Thank you. One more key so it's falling in. Key. You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Revelio. I heard the key. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. What's cheating? Just because you can fly. Slap that key. I will take you. Thank you. I'll put it in there.
Incendio. I might can't read it from this. Hmm. Excuse me. Through the door. The heck am I? Let's go. Revelio. Where am I supposed to be on? I'm so lost. This castle is so big. Oh. Lumos. Lumos. All the way around here somewhere. Mm, no. Oh, I just went in there. And up here again. Okay. So they're just running around aimlessly. Let's look. <laughs> Acquire a use for a focus potion. Flying class. Oh, there's a thingy up here. Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Oops. Incendio. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot to trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. <laughs> because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. <laughs> sure. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. 
I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Hmm. Well, that'll have to happen after I finish my class. Thank you very much. I want to go and learn to fly. Can't see. Is it possible to become an aura and not? Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Me. <laughs> Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. No oh, slaggy. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. Laggy, laggy like cutscene. First and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop the loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated Ooh. in this class. Better now. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher. Step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh, boy. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Uh -huh. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. To... Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? No, yay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Whoa. 
Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> This is rather fun. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But mm -hmm. I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clockton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Where is he? Oh, he's down. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. of the gardens the hufflepuff common room windows just peek out bit claustrophobic for my taste <gasps> how is everett flying so quickly here's something handy to know lean forward for a burst of speed helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriffs? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Just and a bit of an overshot. To be fine. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. <laughs> Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I'm Could disappointed face. in you. You're in this class because you're still I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Whoops. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. 
Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint Witches in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. We learned how to fly. Okay, let's go and do this one and then I'll go to Hogsmeade and we'll get a broom. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Let's explore corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I'll be weak. Oh. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Oh! God damn it! Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day, that is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupt disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Abareth Smokies again for dinner tonight. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although I still prefer meat pie. Oh. Oh. Wrong one. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Thank you. Oh, up this way. Any luck finding my diary and the rest of my... Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. 
I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness Probably. some people are trustworthy. Okay. Let's go to Hogsmeade. I'm gonna go there. Go and get ourselves a broom. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ah, new Revelia. Wonderful. Yeah, of course they are. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows... Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms <laughs> every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then. Back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Timber Dash, Hogwarts House Broom, Moon Trimmer Broom, Wind Wisp, U Weaver. Only craft from Ash of Bruna's built for stability. And a fiery temple. That item is of the highest quality. <laughs> that item is of the highest quality. <laughs> Some of them look funny. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, shut quality. up. He heard it the first time. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, I think he's fine. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I might be able to get rid of some of this other stuff while I'm here. <sighs> nice doing business with you.
Mm. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Thank Whilst you. nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Really? What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sure. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Um, okay, we need to go back to Hogwarts. Ooh, we'll come right here. Run! Do we really need to do this? Oh, Jack had a camp visit and wouldn't be looking so far. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Imelda Rays? I'll be weak sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Rude. For some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. Rude. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. What a rude biatch. I'm probably gonna lose, but you know, that's not the point. <gasps> uh oh! This is rather fun! Uh oh. This will take some getting used to.
go. Oh my god. I keep missing the button. Redo! Did it! Ah! No! Up, 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 up. Oh god. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not about fun. Scary. Is she gonna be mad at me? Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Is that one you can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Wow. She's a mean I never thought bugger. someone would ever best in Elvis time. <sighs> oh. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Isn't she what? Rude. Just rude. I bested your time and I wasn't even trying. Well, I was trying. Okay, what's next? Take the Parry Pippin. No, oh, not that one. That one. Go see Professor Weasley. Well, I don't find her bollies in the least bit. I asked to meet to cart a tutor in the Council of Elders.
Oh, this way. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant. Running, running, running. Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Merlin's beard. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Ooh, it's a loopy one. Oh, and it's got other buttons this time. Boy. Blended. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Sincerely, T. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs>
hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> Lumos. Oops. Come on. We defended the room, thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. <laughs> Other than a house elf managed to get around in here. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I think do I get over there? Going that way. What am I, Leo Siren? Oh, when I get on it. I hope that house self can find us in here. Mm. 
It's all right. I'll have Yikes, to careful. Huh? Oh, there oh, you well. are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to us. meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Well, you've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why quite don't you perceptive. give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. 
<laughs> we need a potting table. And a potion station. Mm Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Okay. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But okay. the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You I can conjure have more than potions <laughs> and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh. Ooh, a mirror. Hello. 
Hallo, 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 hallo. She's a pretty looking lady. We'll take that. He's much better than yesterday, that's for sure. That is for sure. But I want it the other way. Fine then. Don't let me have it the other way. I'll just sit it there like that. It is pretty fun. But I've enjoyed it so far anyway. <laughs> you wouldn't have a kid. I can have a seat. Are you okay over there, Deep? It really doesn't sound it. Yeah, I think it's pretty fun. That's a pretty big table, actually. Maybe more wall decorations. Oops. I guess I put more pictures up everywhere. Conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's Ooh. get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Whoops. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay. Try to change. That one's cute. 
I think I like that one better. Make it pink or purple. Adjust the size of the item? Can I adjust this thing? That's not what I was pointing at, but anyway. You're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, where? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Hmm. Dark and mysterious, moonlit ambiance. I would perfect. like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Well, dang. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, yes. Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. That's kind of cool. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I like that we've got somewhere to um, customize for ourselves. I want to have a look at the other lighting options. Deke, help me. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. That sounds terrifying. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. Maybe not. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, 
What sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. You know, that'll do for now. Very sunny. This is kind of cool. I like it. Wow. Like, we really do have a lot of room to work with. That's cool. I like it. That's cool. Okay. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, I've got to return to Albie. I've got to do this still. So there's a few things that I need to do at Hogsmeade, so I may as well go back to Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hmm. Oh, he's freaking broken. Uh, pulling in. Not broken. Where am I going? You're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <laughs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. 
course, they do nap in the afternoons from what He's I hear. Real. And where would we exactly. be without enhancements? I mean, <laughs> if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Okay. Hmm. Need to go to J Pippins. Point of toilet. Being an officer of the law in a foreign village. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. That's a mouthful of a name. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken Fatima to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revelio. Okay. Oh god, we haven't been that far yet. Oh, there's some Merlin trials along the way though, so I might just keep going that way. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Stone. 
monster. Ooh, it's up that side. Revelio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Hmm. Okay. Revelio. Next. What the heck was that? Revelio. Hmm. Oh. Incendio. Hmm. Where is it? Ah. Incendio. Anyway, moving on. Running, running. It was that. Oh, move oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Lumos. Um, who am I supposed to take you? Down there? No? Hello? Oh, here. 
Velio. Lumos. Rebellion. I don't see anything except for whatever that is down there. Huh. Unless that's where I'm supposed to go. Huh. Lumos. Maybe? Ouch. Apparently. Oh, how do I get back up there? Hmm, yeah, what? Lumos. Oh. Revelio. I'm so confused by this one. Hmm. Rebellion. I honestly don't see anything. Other than that down there, that was all I seen. Ah. Ouch. Ah. Lumos. Incendio. Oh. Revelio. Incendio! Prepare it! Well, that didn't work. Oh! Accio! Incendio! It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crancroft. Hmm. Well, nice. 
Yes, I don't expect to be thwarted by my own allies. I don't expect to have the cloth of my plans unraveled by the very people who sent Revenia. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. Hmm, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to take that guy on. I can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough dumb beef. It's a better not. I'll check your pockets after you're dead. Uh oh. No one hides from me. I'll fuck you like a freelancer. Maybe I'll yes, sir. No, he didn't last long. That's in what? Lumos. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Levioso. Potato. Need to get up there. Oh. Oh, I can't unlock it. Where near about it's <laughs> not see can be done. <laughs> I don't know. Not for a long time, I guess. Okay. Um, so here's this one. Where are the moths? For it? Oh, down there. You're not impatient. No, no, no. Never. Lumos. Huh. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Come on. This way. Huh. Not so tricky after all, man. I don't know. That one was pretty tricky. I know what that means. Merlin trial. No, oh, I'm not Merlin to wait. Come on, big ball. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Won't get the best of me. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I've done that. Can I keep going? My little quest. A rabbit. There you go, a normal creature. A rabbit. Oh boy. No, for crap's sake. Incendio! Oh! Incendio! You can burn the web, man. Um, no. Burn the goddamn web! Poor dude. Oh. Whoops, he didn't listen, I guess. <laughs> I love that the daffodils trumpet sound at you. you just pinch those pennies. Well. Come here, corrupt mite. Ah, potato. If it isn't Dora Treadwell's precious little girl. in trial when I see one? Oh, I don't have any mallow sweat, that's right. Mm hmm. Oh, what's valley? Oh, there's a thingy up here, a fast travel thing. Maybe I should go and do that quickly. Oh, is it inside? It is inside. Damn it. Hi. 
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. <laughs> oh dear. Run, run, run. What's gonna chase me now? Another melon trial. Running, 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 I'm running over here. Run, 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 run. I definitely am. <laughs> it's all I'm doing is running. That's kind of terrifying. Whoops! <laughs> um, I didn't think about flying, to be honest. Hippogriff! How do I get my broom out? How, how? Four more galleons. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. That Pippin should have been here by now. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro then for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Mm. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. <laughs> You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you Miss prove the Mimi. potion works. Drink it. Yeah. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Oops.
It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. I should travel over here. Could it be a Merlin trial? Yes, it could be. Vivelio. Just like strolling to people's houses, it's fine. Fine, totally fine. Huh. Revelio. We have. They're cute little beehives. Oh, I can't put them there. Okay. Well. So, <laughs> Ooh. Kinda cool too. I think I like that one better.
not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Okay. We go back to Hogwarts. It is a lot of percent left. <laughs> it's a big game. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh, yeah, it's going all right. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself, I'm Clementine, Willetsy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was a um, we truly were forbidden what? from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If we must go mind. to the same hairdresser. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Yes, yes, okay. Avelio, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good mm -hmm. luck. Okay, thank you. Yeah, considering I'm running a gaming laptop, it's um it's pretty good. it's doing pretty good. <laughs> um We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Yeah, the only, um, the only time that it seems to really struggle is the cutscenes, like the very start of most cutscenes. It seems a little bit laggy, but it seems to do it on every one of them. So I don't know whether it's just me or my game or what but yeah i can see why you didn't want to go she was quite cantankerous i do truly appreciate your help and at least it's done with but i mean it writes itself after a few seconds anyway so that's not too bad it was a pleasure doing business with you mr pippin likewise <laughs> worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch best of luck with your potions mr pippin do take care. Uh, let me go up and get seeds from me. Um, oh, we didn't do that. 
This is where I need to go. The magic meat. Oh. Oops. Can we, like, just push the right button? A few people have seen it. Also, like, I'm curious if... Ah. Maybe. Because it, it, it's the only time it really seems to do it is when you get to the, like, the bigger cutscenes. And it only lags for, like, a, a couple of seconds and then it's fine, so I don't know. Hello. Be with you in a bit. That's what I want. Mallow seeds. Mallow sweets. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Might take some of all of them. Yeah. Maybe. It takes me now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Hmm. Okay. So. The old fool. <laughs> it was. Uh. Okay, go back to Hogwarts. Leave. Rebellion. You haven't been to the box yet. Really? Let's just read. Something to do with the horse. Revelio.
Rebellion. Hmm? Oh, it's a cheery hallway. What the heck? Lumos. What's that door? Oh, that's cool. Is there one on there? That fat lady. Revelia. Hmm. How do you get over the rock side? Interesting. Oh, I can't get through there, that's why. Okay. said that travel broadens the mind. Have you really? Pavelio. Okay, I've been to the store. Right. 
Wait, Sebastian? Let's go and meet with Sebastian. This way. Running, 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 I'm running over here. <laughs> run, 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 run. Keep running, he running there, running everywhere. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Surely this somebody has to know about it. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I was wondering what this thing was. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. Yes, yes. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. 
A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. This doesn't sound it may dangerous take a while all. to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The oh, incantation Jesus. is Confringo. Very well. Oh, here we go again. What do we got? <laughs> Dangerous is my middle name. <laughs> You're getting it. Maybe more curious. Ready to actually try it out? And stupid. Stick to the targets, though. <laughs> Best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Okay. Confringo! Nice work. Thanks. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Anne Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted Why you not? with knowledge Telling. of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that it's my secret to tell. some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Mm. Uh, probably. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Uh oh. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? 
I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father <laughs> is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I didn't tell him. <laughs> yeah, he is a little bit. But again, I didn't tell him. I didn't snitch on Sebastian. I said nothing. have enough thingies. Okay. Now I can fix this up properly. Um, I guess I could keep that one in there. Yeah, it's just a mouse button scroll. Pretty simple. I think that's all of it, right? Looks like it. I would like to teach yeah, just scroll you down. Guardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisites, Guardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. Leviosa. Oh, flipping Peeves is back somewhere. Hmm. 
to do the chest. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Got a lot of side quests to do too, but make can wait. Lord, Miss Me. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Fine, Minister fine. Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. Um, what do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret <laughs> cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton... But I found the pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jack had followed the map <gasps> it contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not. Good it's a room Lord, below Lord. Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. Hmm. <laughs> I reckon. This looks promising. Fancy. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete 
on your own. Do oh, you yay. recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Can do. Off on another adventure. It's time you learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heat. Yeah, situation. I don't know what to think we But made first, to I will need you to honest. complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Yeah. I felt that way myself. Ooh. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station, pop balloons around the Quidditch pitch. Professor Garlix. Acquiring use venomous tentacular. Acquiring use mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Acquiring use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and a Jurist potion and use them simultaneously. Okay.
Oops. Is it a peace heart? Which is I need to go up further. No, never mind. Yeah, I gotta go back to J Pippins. I thought I had something for here. Nothing to identify, for now at least. Maybe I don't have anything now. Sweet, here I come. Um. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Focus weapon, that was what it was, right? Maybe you should just buy all the recipes. Thank you. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. A wise decision. Thank you. It would appear Ooh. that you don't have enough for that. Oops! I hope to Spend see you money. Farewell for now. What? Mm, I did. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs>
That, and you can get it from those chests with the eyeballs. You get 500 galleons every time, so. Wait, what was it? Um, yeah. Okay, I need to focus potion too. Get, get, get. Make the focus potion. Let's go. <laughs> I know he's very nasty. It is very nasty. Deke. Keep going. Okay. Um. So I have it. What's that? What's a little Rackham's trial? Get upon board. I've only gotten 27 of the field guide pages from Hogsmeade. What the heck is the demiguy statue? What is that? Hmm. Oh my god. I haven't actually looked at how big the map is. No, we don't want to do that. We want to... We want to... Go outside.
Okay. So how the heck do I get my broom out? Revelio. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. How do I get my broom out? That would be something we should know. Um, um, haha. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Prepare. Oh my god, will you stop that? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. To just run into them. Okay. Oh, well, that didn't work in my favor, did it? Not wise drunk rooming. Nope. Wish somebody told me that sooner. Oh, there's the other one down there. Okay. In the air, I fly. <laughs> oh, I see them. I believe I can fly. <laughs> One, two. Oh crap! That was a tight turn. The heck was that? A bit. 
have no idea. <laughs> Where's the last one? Where's the last one? I don't see it. <laughs> it was. I was trying to intimidate it. Hello, Balloon? You're not up higher. Is it under the bridge? I don't see it. Get low. There's another bling down there, but I don't think it's meaning those ones. That's not over the station. <laughs> I'll need two hands. They're at the bridge. Those ones aren't over here. Surely it doesn't mean those, right? Let's just make sure. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> Oh, there it is. In amongst the trees. I wonder I couldn't see it. Brilliant. Does it have a turbo setting? I don't know. That guy seems to be having trouble back there. Uh, oops. Okay, dude. I'm down. 
Hmm. Oh, you can see these steps here. How did you get on with those tasks? Revelio. Excuse me while I rummage around your room. Dear Madame Kavala, I'm writing to writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. Her room looks really pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Why not a chair? I don't know. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please could I ask that you speak with the headmaster or to Professor Weasley. I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. <laughs> oh, you poor thing, you. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but anyway. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Exactly. <laughs> yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius, pay attention to your wand work. Okay. Oh, it's a different mouse button this time. Oh my god. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my... Okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Before taking it out into the world. Places. There you go. Get in them quickly. <laughs> Poor dummy. Could move that up. To a higher one. And move that down here. That poor dummy. Marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our flying instructor is hardly in it. You need to cool it down. <laughs> I mean, that'd be nice. Guess our work together at Hogwarts will be less event than our time near Yokohama Harbor. Though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Nobody want to play? Let me try and play again. Let's play Summoner's Court. Back for more, eh? Ready then? Not particularly. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Nothing to it. Here. 
<laughs> sup, 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 sup. Okay, thank you. That was one for the ages. Up here. All in the wrist. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't think you were a match for me. I forgot to let go. I forgot to let go. Try to beat that. Shut up, Leander. Damn it. Oh, wait. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. <gasps> Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander, there's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been <laughs> tested and that you passed. Look like you're having trouble there, dude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So all I need to do is just take those potions. Yes, sir. My God. This way? Yeah, this way. Oh, the lag. A bit blanky there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've no sleep being Oh, pee.
A resto momentum, the slowing charm. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Another one. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the end. Okay, so maybe that one there. That one there. Well done. Cool. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined. To master your spell casting. Alright. Pavelio. Okay. Mm. Require and use venomous tentacula. The weed and death cap. Oh, the butterflies. Okay, why don't we go and do this? And then this one will do us, I think. Yeah. Okay.
Oh, God. <laughs> I swear, none of you have a head left on your shoulders. Here. How nice to see you, my young friend. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Well, this isn't ideal. Oh. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. I can't see myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. The people working for me. Quickly now. I'm already using it. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. I don't have it. Do I? No. Um, ow. Um, that's not what I meant to do. I'm confused. Ow! Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't have it. Or I Oops. suppose we could charge right into their midst. Whoops. Let's take them. So. Let's get this over with. Huh? Come on, bitch, take it out. Can free them. Someone there? Afraid to fight? Can think of oh. 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 
No, no, not the sneak. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? Orders? Directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? No idea. Uh-oh. I will draw blood. Stupid to come here. <laughs> Goblins have always been Whoops. This is different somehow. No, that dude went flying. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Let's head inside. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Guess it's not locked anymore. Charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the car. Can't get in there. Rebellion. Who this is? With robes like that, it could be anyone. Yes, huh? Don't we have to go this way?
Revelio. She knows. Um, well, crap, I wasn't supposed to do that. Are you going to help me, dude? He unlocked the other door for me. I'm not going to unlock this one. Revelio. Apparently not. How do I get back out of here? Can't. Confringo. Revelio. Hmm. I am confused. what to do. <laughs> I'm confused. Revelio. There's nothing to reveal it. Tells me I might have stuffed up. Oh. We go back outside. No, you cannot. Um, Repairo. Lumos. Lumos. What the fuck are you, Lumos, in for? Lumos. Lumos. Mm 
Um, okay. I don't know what I've done, but I can't do anything. I can destroy books, apparently. Confringo. Put the dang torch out. <laughs> He's in this bit. Because that's what I tried to do a second ago. I tried to light that. Yeah, I tried to light it a minute ago. <laughs> it's alright. Damn it. Like I'm pretty much stuck. Oh god, now I'm not even move. Glacius, incendio. Definitely can set them on fire. Glacius, incendio. Wait. Here. Let me answer. There's something. Oh my goodness, stop that. Accio! Hmm? Let me No. Hmm. Repairo. Hmm. 
Lumos. Lumos. Oh, dude, go away. Revelio. Hmm. Is there something that we're not seeing? I don't know. Seriously, why let me do it outside? Nothing I'm doing up here is working. Climb on that stuff. Like, why can't I fix the floor? <laughs> Repair it. Won't let me do anything. Revelio. And I can't see anything in here. See stuff out there and up. I mean, I don't think I should have come through here, but I don't know how I'd get out anyway. Oh, there it is right there. Hmm. 
Yeah, I can't cast the Rivermore yet. So I can't even open the door. I don't know. Okay, I give up for now. I'll have to figure out what I've done. And sort myself out later. <laughs> so I don't know how to get out of there. <sighs> annoying. Very, very annoying. Anyway, guys. That's going to do me... Oh, my computer needs an update. It's going to do me. I've had a few frame drops too tonight. Six hours this stream has been. I think that's enough. <laughs> Six hours is plenty. Anyway, guys. It was interesting. Yeah. I'll try and figure out what I've done and get myself out of that situation if I can. If I can. I'll try and fix it. But yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope everybody has a good day, good night, whatever it is. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. Oh, wait. What's today? <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Something different tomorrow. Not do Dinkum or Grant. Maybe Dinkum tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!